Hello and welcome back to the NSCSA State Tournament. Now for the top spot on the leaderboard, we have Gretna versus Omaha Scut Catholic. I am quite excited for this matchup. It also means that the night is over when they're done. I'm quite tired, but <laughs> nonetheless. This last game is very important, and this is the final game of the Division One. We saw the Division Two finals earlier. Very, very good game on Honestly, both sides. on both sides. Quite the upset for Wayne. Wayne ended up clutching up. 3 to 2 beating the 8 to 0 and then the 7 to 0 teams exactly exactly and i just hope that this game will be honestly just as good as the finals for me too. division me 2 me too because that game it really was it wasn't just like a clean wipe or anything it was it was a game game mm -hmm. and i'm expecting the same exact thing to happen here you know, these teams are both incredibly skilled. And so to go against each other and see who comes out on top, it will surely be interesting to watch. And so there's the Kaisa Rel pick, same as before. The Senna pick, I believe that is also the same I as think their so. first game. Ramus, another Are they just going the pick. exact same things, do you think? Well, Volley Bear, I don't believe, was in that first game. You're right, and you so are correct. They are, are correct. changing it up there. But they are banning the Swain, Aphelios, and Victor. And the Viego, Ash, and Mort are also out of there, out of that game. Out of this game. Because that, that Mord, that first game, was really good. And... Again, on the other team, the Swain was also pretty good. And so getting both those out of there is uh, is pretty, pretty good ideas. There's a pike on the Gretna side. Wow. Pike is such an oppressive laner. Like, he's, no, but he's, he's honestly scary. Pike, Pike that is man scary. is scary. Pike that is man scary. is scary. You cannot <laughs> tell me that that Mike isn't scary. When he's gearing up to get his cue, when he's charging it up, and you're just like, which way is it going to go? Which way is it going to go? And then he hooks you, and you're just and you're just like, I, I'm dead now. <laughs> Gray screen it is. See, because I am good at the game, I don't get hooked. See, you know, but... that's not even true. I saw you get hooked last week. Don't even but play these either, games with me. Either way, the Senna Pike is a scary it combo. It really is. Especially Senna W out. They're rooted. And Pike that's hook a for sure hook, it's a for hook sure e, hook. Mm -hmm. and even the slow from Senna with Glacier if she decides to go that route, that, sl that slow with Glacier. Glacier. And ah. Even combined with the Ramus, when he just rolls in, knocks mm -hmm. somebody up, Senna W, Pike, it's just CC upon CC upon CC. Mm -hmm. Whoever they're going to catch in that CC is will cry. <laughs> will cry will. tonight, will as cry. will I for them. <laughs> And so we see that the Pantheon and Naru band on the Gretna side and the Yon and TF were banned. So we see that the Wukong was picked on Gretna side. Again, just a lot of crowd control. Just keeping the enemy there. Tons and tons of just monkey moments in there. And so to counter that Wukong, the Malphite was picked. Again, a lot of knockups. And Malphite, if he decides to go the damage route, will be able to just destroy that Senna and the Pike. Because Pike also does not have too much health. True. And so... If he decides to go, even Tank. Tank Malphite does a lot of damage for he no really reason does. whatsoever. Like, who did that? <laughs> Whoever designed that champion really, really, really has issues. Oh, and there's Nico, my personal favorite. <laughs> I am on the league team here at the college, and I basically spam Nico. I'm not good, though. So let's hope this Nico <laughs> is better than me, and maybe watching them, I'll learn some things, you know? I feel like both Omaha Scut and both of us... Oh, and it there seems was that something dodge. went wrong. There was a dodge. Okay. Somebody did not want to play with their team. Well, that was very unexpected. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen this in all of my years of casting. Not in... And, 
<laughs> in all of my <laughs> all of my years upon years of experience Just all of, casting, of your experience yeah, yes all indeed. of my experience being today but it is all of my experience mm-hmm. that is that is true mm-hmm. that is true client maybe didn't, they didn't like a pick <laughs> it seems that client didn't let him change rooms i see and so hopefully they i think they were just scared of that wukong not gonna honestly lie. i think so but the what the do you monkey think? moment was the monkey was too scary what do you think when they remake the lobby and go back into champs like, they'll, they'll probably have yeah? the same picks and bands if not then that yeah, yeah if not that'd be quite bands. unfair because I'm not showing the truth. No, I'm joking. So let's everybody just thank Riot for all that they've given us. Honestly, all the bugs. All of, all of the great, great moments. The such, such as this. I don't know where I would be. Without Rito. Without, without Rito. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they gave us invisible ults. True. They gave us beyond, like, ranges like blitz's hook mm-hmm. it goes so far but mm-hmm. no you thought it goes further it goes further they gave us not being able to change your runes they gave nautilus, us not being able to log into the game nautilus hooks wrapping around walls mm-hmm. wrapping around champions honestly because i can say 100 percent certain that i have totally thrown a hook through a tower mm-hmm. and i i love it mm-hmm. i love it so riot if you're watching i hope you're not but Thank you. We want to thank you from all of us here. Mm-hmm. All of us here at the NSCSA State Tournament Finals. What what joyous moments here. Honestly. So we finally have that person rejoin. Wait, no. Hold up. Hold the presses. Speaking of joyous moments, it seems like somebody has been challenged to a Fortnite 1v1. <laughs> Will they accept? <laughs> Um, wait. Clash of Clans seems to also be on the table. PC no work question mark. Use Wild phone. Rift is now Wild being thrown Rift. out. They're going this is below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, okay, real talk though, Wild Rift is actually pretty fun. Wild Rift is really fun. Like it's extremely easy mm-hmm. by all means. Everything's auto targeted. And it takes no skill. You have to be bad to miss. Honestly. Honestly. Like, but it's still it's still it's, a fun game. It's fun. It's I feel like Wild Rift was really made for those players that have been playing League for a long yeah. time. And when they just want to chill and don't want to sit behind a desk, just want to chill mm-hmm. in their bed, they can play Wild Rift. And honestly, they did a really good job on it. They really did. They really did. It it hasn't had too many bugs that I've found mm-hmm, out. Mm-hmm. I have been kicked out of the game once. True. I was with you then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, it, it hasn't been bad. No, it really hasn't. It really hasn't. Maybe Real League should take some notes from Wild Rift. Honestly, even though it's made by the same company, Honestly, I you, don't know how I, they've I messed it up. I don't know either. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. It seems like they are ready to get back into matchmaking. We do have a very important topic of discussion. Okay, I'm ready. I think that our viewers will will love this too. I'm ready. All right, the question that everybody wants the answer to. Does Wild Rift count as a video game? Like, are you a gamer if you play Wild Rift? We've had this talk. Honestly, I'm, I look. You want to know what the viewers think? Honestly, do you guys want to? Yeah, try to type in chat. Do yeah. you guys think if p- people play only Wild, Wild Rift, Rift, are they gamers? Are they gamers? It is a game. No. It is not a game. It is not a game. We have both 50-50. It's life. <laughs> it's life. <laughs> Wild Rift is life. <laughs> Wild Rift is in fact life. And so my personal philosophy on it is that. If you only play Wild Rift, then no. Mm-hmm. That's like that's like playing Candy Crush and You're being like, I'm a, gamer. a gamer. Yeah, I'm a gamer. it's just it's not enough to be considered yeah. a gamer. It really isn't. Like you can say I play a game. On yeah, my own. you can play a game. A game. You're but not a gamer. you're not a gamer. You're not a gamer. And so here we have just them back in that pick band. The Same. surprise pike pick didn't see yeah, coming. Yeah, I that one that one shocked left me this field. time. I didn't left know they were gonna do that second field. time around. Like I didn't like I didn't think they would, but like you know they mm, did. They really did. That's crazy. I saw that. <sighs> crazy. Honestly. 
Yeah, yeah I'm honestly. Gonna something. I'm gonna predict <laughs> red team is gonna select Wukong right here. No, nah, there's no way. Wukong. There's no way. Wait, that's not allowed. The what? Now they ban Nico, so oh we have goodness. to start it all over again. They banned their own champion. Talk about being wow. smart. This one we can't even blame on Riot. This, honestly, like you can blame a lot of things on Riot. Oh, 100%. This is not one of them. <laughs> honestly, I wonder how he stared at that champion and was like... <laughs> Seems like we are hopping back into. So for this will be the third time that we will have to be in champ select <laughs> now. Because one person banned their own yes. champion. You know, Incredible. I can't say that I've never been there before. Oh, I've definitely done it before, 100%. Same. Me too. But in this kind of official setting, we can't really have that. Exactly, exactly. But at least, you know, now I guess they'll have some time to think about how they're going to counter everything. Like, just even though the, the champions are already chosen, just the mm -hmm, strat, mm -hmm, you know, they mm -hmm. have some more time. Because now everybody's revealed who they're going to be playing. Yeah, so and so they, they do have more time to strategize. Maybe maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe, maybe. You know, it's, it's like when you think about it, it's, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, honestly. I'm going to call it right here. First pick Kaisa. Nah, I'm thinking they're, yeah, first pick, probably Kaisa, maybe Nico. I don't know yet. Mm, Have we seen be. their, uh, Gretna's last pick, though? I don't think we've seen Gretna's last pick. So Gretna does have the edge over Omaha in that regard. But, I mean, they are banning random champions, is, and so is. I do think... Is that the first pick, No, Kaisa no way I, it's going to be Kaisa. And I called it. No it way. First that is pick crazy. Kaisa. Wow. Put me on the LCS. <laughs> just, 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 for, just, for right brains, just for brains, though. Just for brains. Just for brains. Like, not good at the game, no, but knowing game, when people are going to pick Kaisa. No, no other champion. No, no, just Kaisa. Just, just Kaisa. Kaisa. Okay, I'm going to predict it again. I'm going to say Volibear down bot, like, in the second. Oh no way, no way! So you got and Kaisa then, and Volibear. You didn't, you didn't know the Pike was coming. I didn't know. I didn't. I never would have guessed it. I never would have guessed it. Um, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm between Nico and. All right, you might, you might have a challenger. You saying a Zier last pick? A Zier last. Ooh, I'll take you up on that. For all the marbles, a Zier last pick. I'm gonna Azir. laugh when it is actually a Zier. If it actually is a Zier, then honestly, props to that man. <laughs> props to that, or woman, or girl, or a boy. <laughs> the Gwen was banned. Why would you grand ban the Gwen? Well, they just ban random champions because it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure each I one suppose. has been. It and is that Nazir. Is, oh! Wow. And this is crazy. A monumentous a moment wow. when we get through wow. ban and pick phase. Oh, baby, a Nico. <laughs> I can't. I don't that, think there's ever been a moment this great incredible. since Faker. I've never been more proud of anybody. Me either. Me either. And it's the easier last pick. Wow. Wow. I think that person takes a spot on the LCS. To, what's his name? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be saying that. <laughs> to Chubby, <laughs> Chubby, to Chubby Dog. dog. <laughs> All the props. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant man. And let's say, let's hope that we can make it through. We have 20 more seconds. Do we make it? I it's a tough I call. I really hope so. It's a tough call. I don't, I don't seconds know how much board. more suspense I can take if this know. keeps going At on. At any moment, anybody can still click. I might quit. like in the next seven seconds, I might spontaneously combust. Honestly, if I, I'm leaves. here for you, and <laughs> somebody will be on standby to take over casting for you. <laughs> and the chat is saying, "Dodge, please don't." <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, he and got now auto we finally made it to the spectator delay. What joy. What wow, joy. what joy indeed. Unfortunately, they can't dodge any more chat. I am so sorry. I know that one of them got auto failed, but <laughs> combust. <laughs> Why didn't you combust? Cuz nobody dodged. Nobody fair. If somebody fair. dodged, I would have. What if I dodge on casting? That would be crazy. I don't that know how would you would do that. I don't, I don't know. know. Just like hop I don't know out. what you would dodge. I don't know. I don't know. Your bad jokes. <laughs> My bad jokes. <laughs> but we get to stare at an empty summoner's rift for fair. two more minutes. Fair. I don't know what fair. else you could want. This is life. This is honestly.
This is Shrek. This is not Shrek. This is definitely Shrek. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I love the map too, Blue Cat. We're in the swamp, and I'm having a good time. We're all in this together. <laughs> we are. As, you know what? Beautifully said. Where did you get that from? Um, I believe that it was... <sighs> did you make that up yourself? Uh, my dad told it to me in the really in we're 2007, all in this, 2007 actually. 2007, yes, we're all in this together. Caleb's father. Wow, 2007. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We are girl. all in this together. The other thing was we're be better late than ever. Better late than ever. That's the other thing you taught me. Wow. Wow. And just like this game, it has been better late rather than, than ever. Never. And True. I'm so True. pleased. True. You know, my mom used to always tell me, um, let it go. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Really? And That's she'd, crazy. She'd go, let it go. <laughs> Let it go? Yeah, let it go. Like, can't hold it back anymore. No, you can't. How did you know? <sighs> I know that you and my mom are close, but, like, come yeah, on. This no, is a different I've, connection. I've chatted with your mom multiple occasions. You really so have. We just, we have you this, just have this, this, this connection. This deep bond. Yes. This bond. I'm essentially your mom now. When you really think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know... When I really do think about it, I just don't think that's correct. No, yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. I don't I don't think that's correct. Personally, I'm gonna say personally. And with 35 seconds left on the board, let's not think about any mo anyone's mothers. All right. So and let's anyway, shift our focus to yeah, the game. So any other topic? Let's decide. Team comps. Mm -hmm. So it is looking like Red Team, aka Gretna, is honestly they're at it with the big CC. Yeah, they have they have some alt. pretty big. Pike, Senna, Ramus. Ramus, that yeah, no, that that is zero and the Ramus ult are both gonna mm -hmm. be pretty clutch. Wukong ult again, just always good. That clone being able to knock up as mm -hmm. well now since that mm -hmm. update has been pretty clutch. But I'm also excited for that Malphite Nico combo. Me too. Me where too. Where Malphite just kind of lobs them up for Nico to slam them mm -hmm, back down and stun mm -hmm, them. Mm -hmm. That can be pretty, pretty cr crucial, especially for fights such as like the drag fight, right? especially in the pits of Dragon and mm -hmm. Baron. That can be pretty, pretty insane. And honestly, I'm really excited to see how Nico it will be performing early on into the game as she is a very impressive laner early on she just does a lot of damage but then again so does azir since mm -hmm. azir he does have a little bit of extra range on nico so i am curious to see how it will turn out and also shout out to nico cute skin just i feel like that's <laughs> the most important thing right now because no, I've, I've played a good amount of Nico, mm -hmm. and she does do a ton of damage early, mm -hmm. especially when you get that second and third tick on exactly. the Q. Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And if you E them there, and they're just rooted there long enough, exactly. it can just do tons and tons of and damage. And with the um, electrocute proc as well, mm -hmm. it just does, it's a good amount of damage. And especially once it gets, when she gets her W and her empowered auto attack, mm -hmm. it just, it's... She's a lot more impressive than people seem to think. Yeah, Azir also very good late game. From what I've seen, I don't play that much Azir, but what, what I've seen, his early game is pretty weak. But once he gets that attack speed up, once seen, he gets that ability power up. I just saw his early game be a pigeon, so are you sure? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm certain. You're I'm certain. certain, 100%. Now, I don't play that much League, but... When I do play every single day, I <laughs> <laughs> I am sure. And there's the early... Oh, she started, oh, she started e. e. And so she's going for that root. Okay. But honestly, with Azir summoning his soldiers, that root's not going to be very effective. Yeah. Because he'll still be able to auto-attack. Exactly. I would have earlier gone for the Q just to get him low so he has to have to back up. Normally, I start Q as well as Nico. Mm -hmm. But if it works, then it works. I suppose. So there's a lot of damage back and forth. Nico does seem to have lost that trade. And Azir, just that early damage, I guess, apparently is better than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. I do feel it has some. It's something to do with her not taking the cue. It's just. Possibly, because Azir can just kind of stand there. Ooh, is this the first. Is, this could is this be a kill for either. Of 
both flashes are down as well as the ignite from Wukong. And this is an engage from Rel. The stun gets off on Senna. But that seems to be about it from that fight. Senna continuing to auto attack. Nico winning a fight mid. Okay. Forcing Azir off. She did burn ignite. And Azir kept his flash for that fight. He does have teleport up to teleport quickly back into lane though. It seems to have been that early level 3 damage spike. Mm -hmm. So his she's level 3 but Azir is only level 2 still. And here he is TPing back in. And, and so she gets him with the E. But it seems like she almost, quite almost, overstayed her welcome, as he did. There's still a good amount of damage on top, onto that Nico, but some return damage onto Azir. Mm -hmm. And so Nico was forced to back there, coming back to lane shortly. So both mid flashes are up, top sums are all down. And then Bot on Omaha Scut's side has all sums but flash and heal on senna have been used up and here there was a tiny little skirmish up top for rift, rift scuttle, rift scuttle. i always get them confused rift scuttle and scuttle rift no and rift herald <laughs> that's rift not the right one either <laughs> literate forever Indeed. <laughs> and it does seem that gretna took yes. that rift scuttler home and so i, I think that right the volley bear on Omaha Scut side, we'll get a return scuttle in that bot. Mm -hmm. And so, all in all, wasn't too bad of a loss. Yep, there goes the scuttle. A little scrimmage up top between Wukong and Malphite. Just testing the watch a little bit, but... Ooh, some good damage from Azir with almost no return damage from the Nico, so it seems. I was going to... And Malphite does fall to that Wukong in the top lane with a gank from Rammus. That is indeed first blood. So Volibear does look to be ganking bot lane soon. Senna is able to shroud both Pike and herself to get them out safely. And so Volibear looks to be backing. And so honestly, this could be dangerous for that early dragon. He dashed with his soldiers. Nope, he still has his flash up. He was his dash to his shadow. Oh, Nico flash. That makes more sense. And so Ramus looks to be ganking that Kaisa and Rel. Finds the Kaisa, taunts, but it looks like she's going to be out. But Rel, unfortunately, does not have that luck and will fall to the Ramus. Turns out I don't know how to unmute your mic. Unmute my mic. No, uh, it's a tough skill. Not everybody it, is the same, you know. Yeah, no, I I agree. I am a I am a master of my craft. Yeah, a master. Yes. Of, master of muting your mic. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, yes. I have much to learn. <laughs> much, much to learn. <laughs> and so we're looking at that ignite. That ignite honestly might get the malphite with the last yeah, tick. But and it looks like he got out using a corrupting potion. Smart move on his part. And, you know, it's so weird. First Drake is indeed up. Volibear and, um... Volibear and, what's her name? Rel. Rel, yes. Volibear and Rel were looking to just clear it out, see what they can do. But it's so weird. We're almost seven minutes in. And nobody's really making a play for Dragon. That's been something that in these past few games, we've not really seen happen. These plays for Drake have been very early on. So And so normally the plays, like, I think there was one game where it was at about 7 minutes and 30 mm -hmm. seconds. But people were looking and couldn't get it. But this is the first time that nobody's really made a solid attempt yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
like yes there's been rewards placed on it mm -hmm. but there's no been like oh let's look at drag let's see what we can do or like try to set it up in any way shape or form it's kind of just chilling you know mm -hmm. no i agree so i agree to see. this vol bear is it, down bot and it Ramus looks, is as well yeah it looks like they might make a play here soon for it there's about to be a fight to break out if pike wants to hook somebody but the Ramus seems to be running in wukong and malphite are tussling up top Ramus unfortunately does not catch anybody in his ball form, but Volibear might run into a little pinch here with his ear coming. And down bot. Oh, it it was looking. Like they were so his ear did dying. take a good amount of damage, and they're fighting Rel and Kaisa right now. Ramus is keep almost catching people, but doesn't quite. Flash from Senna, Rue onto Senna. Kill for Volibear onto that Senna. Unfortunately, Nico does fall. And they can't quite get the Ramus. And that is a one for one trade. Senna for the Nico. They're looking to keep going after that Azir. Volibear can't quite catch up to him. He goes over the wall. Rel is there, but doesn't have much support with the Kaisa. And the Volibear. They end up coming in. Rel does end up killing Azir all on her own. There is, Volibear did get an assist from hitting her earlier. Wukong is constantly kind of punishing that Malphite whenever he steps up. And so he'll probably need a gank here soon that Malphite will. Oh, to secure that kill on Wukong. He Ooh, goes in. And he flashes. Is he going to get that one more auto attack? Ooh. And he gets it just barely. Barely. One more auto. Is he going to... He might die from minions, minions to be honest. Honestly. Wow. Nope. They switched. Close. They swapped focus back mm -hmm. to blue side that minions. That was a close call. That was very close call. That early damage on Nico already taking like a fourth of Azir's health just from one E and one Q. Mm -hmm. Not even multiple Q ticks either. That was just the first. Just the first. Wow. Wow. See, it's that early damage on Nico that just really makes her put that early pressure on Azir. It seems like the roles have really switched from Azir being the oppressor to Azir being the oppressed. Ooh. And so Pike tries to go for the hook on the out of mana Kaisa, but doesn't get it. It's just short. And Volibear seems to be going down, looking to find a gank, but it is indeed warded. So that is nobody. actually Nico. That is actually Nico. And so Volibear is still in the jungle. Lands the root on, gets pulled, but he dashes out and stuns that Nico. That would have been an interesting play. That was honestly mm -hmm. a well-timed ult. It wasn't bad if if the pike didn't dash mm -hmm. right away, that Nico would have gotten that full charge off, and mm -hmm. that probably would have given him a kill. Volibear looking afraid right now as he gets caught in between three we'll people, and he, he falls to out. that Wukong after he tries to ult out, and that might be a free rift for Gretna. And so far, CS seems pretty even. Uh, Ramus is up about 10, and then Kaisa is up about 27 right wow, now. Wow, wow, That's a pretty big CS lead down mm. in the bot lane. And Azir and Nico, they seem to be pretty even, but up top, we have Wukong versus Malphite. And wow, at first, it seemed like Malphite was in for a clean sweep. But, but the ignite the from Wukong and the Azir coming in, that dash... And Sand Soldier ended up taking the kill. But just the incredible damage of whenever mm -hmm. Azir gets back, Nico always finds a little bit of damage on him. This could possibly, that's a flash from Pike. He gets out. Rel looking for the engage. Gets knocked by Ramus, and that actually interrupts her. Dash, but he does end up falling to the Kaisa. Nico risking it, taking some turret shots, but ends up surviving. Now Pike could have ult. He could try to dash and ult the Nico. But it seems like he is letting it go. She used her invisible and her clone and was able to escape there pretty easily. Now Kaisa and Rel are looking for the bot kill on Senna. 
Kaisa flash and ult and finds the kill. Pretty easy kill for them both. See now this is looking quite interesting. We are five to five and with Retina having a small gold lead on Omaha Scott, but so far it seems like this is still anyone's game. Oh, 100%. There was a dragon for Omaha Scott, mm -hmm. that extra damage. That could mean something late game, but as of right now, it's a pretty easy, even game for both sides. While down bot Kaisa, like you said earlier, she does have a huge CS lead, and up top... Malphite fight. ults out of the mm -hmm. ball, but still gets hit by it. Wukong trying to come back and clean up. He, Wukong does have ult, and so if he can't catch that Wukong before that Ramus decides to leave. But Nico and Volibear are both thinking of coming top to catch that Ramus and that Wukong as they're leaving. And M Volibear ulted over the Wukong, but the flash stun ends up finding the kill on him kill for Volley Bear. Ramus does end up speeding out of there as he does. But that was a pretty good kill. If Volley Bear decided to wait to ult instead of ulting right away, I think that it would have been easier and probably a little bit more worth it because he so did too. have to waste flash on that one. True, true. But in the end, they did get the kill. And turret plating just falling here in the 14th minute. Both teams are kind of looking towards drag. Nico might head down there soon as Volley Bear goes towards it. Volley Bear decided to get the red buff, and I think they're just going to decide to give this one after all. Mm -hmm. And there it is. And there's the ocean drag for Ramus, completing his smite. Looking for that pick on Rel. Will Rel get out of here? Decides to go in. And that Nico. Will Nico. Nico's damage pretty good. There was a kill from Nico onto Azir. Wukong ends up killing Rel. Volley Bear finds Pike. Nico with a double kill onto Wukong. And so that was a three for one. Way in favor of Omaha Scott mm -hmm. because only Rel died. And that was a. 4v5. His Malphite is still top. Volibear has to watch out here. He might get caught out. The ult from Nico stunning both oh, of them. Wow, getting a good catch. A and both at the same time, Senna and Ramus go down. That was beautiful. Honestly, that was a beautiful engage by Rel, turning it back mm -hmm. around and going from or by, by Nico. To Nico. Hunter. No, it, even before from Rel, what started the team fight? Oh yes, yes, away. the team fight before. Yes, yes. That four, that four man mm -hmm. knock up mm -hmm. was immaculate. And it really changed. It really changed the tides on them. I was really eager to see the Nico ult there, and then True. I realized she didn't have it. Mm -hmm. Me but too. Me too. But she, when she did have it, she used it great. Mm -hmm. But she still did lay down quite a bit of damage mm -hmm. and quite a bit of crowd control as well with her E hitting. I think two or possibly three people there. Mm -hmm. And because uh, Gretna, a lot of their characters are kind of based on movement speed, like Pike, Senna needs to be moving, Azir can stand still, just not for too long. And so hitting that root on them is very important also. Honestly. And Nico is really good at just taking out these low health targets mm -hmm. very fast with that root and then the E, or that e and then the Q. And so she should be getting more and more fed as the game goes on. 216, participating in 8 of the 11 kills. Wukong and Malphite still going at it time after time when they are both in the top lane. Nico, and Nico finds the E Ooh. but doesn't end up hitting her ult that time. How unfortunate. Ramus is actually coming to gank mid, but Volibear is also there. Hopefully, to catch that Azir as he's walking through the jungle, dashes out, gets the stun on a Ramus and not Azir, unfortunately. That and is they, quite they both walk. indeed. Nico followed up a little bit late, but it is okay. She's putting some great pressure up on the in the mid lane, as well as Kaisa and Rel down in the bot lane. Kaisa, honestly, what's so great about her, her great minion wave clear. 
it's she just she puts, does her cue really does this, shred mm-hmm, minion waves mm-hmm. and that's that the has been pressure very good. that she puts and we've seen that with mm-hmm. how her cs heist in the game by quite a bit 40 cs above senna mm-hmm. with three kills four assists zero deaths so she's quite a bit ahead having completed her kraken slayer already while building two long swords and Senna hasn't quite completed her Kraken Slayer yet. And they're looking to back once more. Hopefully to get another item. Malphi kind of bopping that turret up top. And he's kind of just stayed top for most mm-hmm. of the game so far. But as long as he gets that turret, I feel like it will be worth it for for Omaha Scut. Definitely. As since when they had, were facing their uh, the team fight down bot and it was a 4v5 and they still came out on top. Yeah, so they so still far it does seem to be working. 1 for 3 in that fight. And so so far it's really been working. Tower just has a little bit of health left. Malphite's hoping to probably back and then get that the second he comes. And here with Dragon spawning again in 50 seconds, you have Omaha Scott looking to just prepare for it, set it up. And so that is probably the reason why Gretna decided to back there so mm-hmm. that all Senna, Pike, and Ramus could have full items. That's just as much as they could have. Mm-hmm. Looking for the pick on Ramus, the stun knock up and deleted him. Wow. Kill Gone. for Volley Bear. And in 20 seconds, that should be a pretty free dragon as Honestly. long as they don't miss that smite mm-hmm. dragon will be up in 15 but he won't be up until 20 mm-hmm. so it should be a pretty easy drag and there's diving that oh. tower but cancels the tower so he doesn't take extra damage but is kept in range but that, that tower beautiful ult from nico fantastic. getting a pick on a zier absolutely beautiful. and so they barely made it out of that one with the Azir roll, it was a great Azir roll, but unfortunately they just couldn't find the right champions. Malphite does end up taking that first tower top. His TP is up along with his ult, and so he could be very useful in this next fight if Gretna decides to contest. And that is the second Drake for Omaha Scud. They now have a Infernal Dragon and a Mountain Dragon. This has proven to be a good game to them. For them, they are 13 to six, and they are up almost 4k in gold. And so that that one tower really did put them kind of over the mm-hmm. edge on that 4k lead. While it's not incredibly much, it's still a good amount considering that this is the 20th minute that we're in at the moment, and that also getting that first top tier turret really just allows Malphite to kind of roam other places in the map. Exactly. Hopefully mid, get more kills on Azir for that Nico, and just letting her get more ahead than she already is. And so they do give Kaisa the red buff, and so that will add some extra slow and a burn for the next fight. Volley Bear really wants. Oh, that is Nico. Surprise again. I know you messed up on that earlier. How did but I not mess Nico, up? But Nico was disguised as Volley Bear oh, going mm-hmm. into their jungle. I keep forgetting that when she's somebody else, she's shiny. Mm-hmm. Because when I play Nico, I don't see myself as shiny. I just see him as them. Yeah. And on the mini map, they just have that champion mm-hmm. uh, little icon. And so. I was just really confused for a second, but it looks like Nico might actually be trapped in between the Azir and the Ramus. Ramus. Kaisa also getting into a fight with the Pike. And is this her? Pike ends up securing that wow. kill with his ult, giving some giving some gold back to Senna. Pike will probably dash over the wall if he can get it off in time, but Malphite got the ult off before Pike can dash. How unfortunate. Looking for that. Volley Bear. The Ignite from Wukong goes off, but it's not enough to secure the kill. Malphite coming mid, killing that Wukong with a little bit of help from that Rel and that Volley Bear damage from earlier. Well, 
And so the kill scoreboard is 15 to 7 in favor of Omaha Sky. And so far, CS lead is One pretty, pretty far. It's pretty far lead for Kaisa in the bot lane. Malphite is also up about 20 CS, so not not awful for Wukong, but mm -hmm. definitely could be better. But unfortunately, Rams is also up. Rel looking for the pick, but gets immediately shut down by that Pike E and Pike Q, as well as the Senna root. But as I was saying, the Ramus is up about 20 CS, and so just like with Wukong, not awful. So Senna W actually did hit both of them. Rel coming in with the knockup. Malphite Ooh. also with the knockup. Coming in. Nico getting the kill. Mm -hmm. Getting her further and further ahead. 4-1-6 now. Pretty close to Azir CS. Down by about 10. But Kaisa is still keeping that lead with about a 40, nearly 50 CS lead on Senna. And she's also 3-1-8 and eight to Senna 0-4-4. Four and, four. and so she is quite a bit of gold ahead of Senna. Volibear looking for that kill on Azir. Gets juked, but hopefully Nico will be able to kill him. Ooh. He survives with barely any health left. Pike Q hit and taunted wow. and ulted. And Pike does get that beautiful shutdown on, on Nico. Getting that bounty. A 400 gold bounty. Oh, then you go in. So that kill was worth a total of 700, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that was a very important kill, especially for even even Pike, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. Pike is does, he is quite the damage dealer. He, he is. If left alone. He definitely and is. So with that ult also sharing with others, it will be just very important to just kind of distribute that gold. Exactly. And here Another they were fight fighting at for Drag Dragon. Pit. Drag spawns in eight seconds. Continuing that fight. It looks like the end of the game might come soon. This is a big fight for Kaisa. Getting a triple kill. Hopefully to continue that killing spree onto his ear. Malphite and Kaisa chasing him. He spawns his passive tower. Kaisa ends up getting that kill. Ooh. Unofficial quad. If this ends up. So that does look to be a free dragon for Omaha Scott. And that's the third dragon, dragon. second mountain dragon for them. Mm -hmm. Their third dragon is an infernal. And so they do have quite a bit of just extra resistances and extra damage from that. And Nico really likes to disguise as that volley bear. This is about the third or fourth time that I've personally seen her do that. So, Nico is looking mid to shove that wave out to get them priority in all lanes, trying to just shove it all out, go ahead, get ahead. And Azir is looking to counter it down bot. Three mid for Gretna, Pike, Ramus now heading into the bot jungle, and Senna. Nico disguised as Volibear. Will she get the trick on them? And she is revealed by a Senna Q. Malphite TPs in. They get mid tower. They cancel that tower to actually keep the health mm -hmm. onto that siege minion. And so that was actually quite smart of Volibear to just keep that health. Malphite might be looking to turn this. He does. He ends up getting the ult and on the Wukong. Nico ult. Three man ult. Very well done. They pick up kill after kill. Kaisa on a roll, getting that triple. And that is inhibitor tower for sure. And that is inhibitor. And, and inhibitor, inhibitor for certain.
They I'm... might try to march it off because there's still 20 seconds before even Ramos responds. And so they could try to go for the end right now. And they are marching ahead. Still going ahead. Pike in 10 seconds. Ramos in 10 as well now. This might be the end of the game unless Pike can pull off a miracle. This is the end of the game. And Omaha Scott cut. Catholic pulling out the win. But, but right now looking to turn to it. it Pike with a two-man stun. Kaisa keep, keep autoing. autoing the, and they and can't and stop, stop him enough. Volley Bear and Kaisa end up getting that win. Securing that Nexus. Very well fought game on both sides. Honestly, and that is... Omaha Scott for the win. First place state champions, Omaha Scott Catholic. Honestly, it was a great game for both sides. It was close for a very mm. long time, but Gretna did Skretna. take. Gretna. Gretna. <laughs> Skretna. <laughs> Gretna did indeed take the W with. GG's. No, Omaha Scott. Sorry. Yeah, Omaha, Omaha Scott, Scott took did the win. It took the, GG's took for the both w. sides. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Omaha Scott. And that is the end. Everybody have a good night. Thank you so much for watching all the streams. Thank you so much for everybody who helped organize this. And have a great night.